So did you swallow? <laughs> did you? Or did you spit it out? I swallowed the worm. And well it was done. <laughs> Interesting to know. <laughs> Interesting to note. I'm impressed that you you swallowed. I really am. It very interesting. Lisa, what? anything else you'd like to say about that story what did it that I like? worked Chicken? very hard on for many hours? Okay. We'll get to the next story in just one second. Right now, I believe. That's ESPN NFL insider John Clayton with the uh, insight and the latest for us on SportsCenter. No. He also argued that the ongoing talks have actually kept Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. From Carmel, if you're using US 31 southbound, oh. your average speed is 43 miles per hour. Also, if you have a telescope, uh, Uranus is visible too. Um, just near the, <laughs> did I say that? Near your near the horizon. I'm going to stick with uh, weather. He came through the keyhole in my house. We we immediately. <laughs> we he must be very small. We immediately <laughs> locked up Lorne, my wife's knicker drawer. I yes. thought he's not going in there. No, he's no. never coming in my keyhole. Let me just say that. But uh, we had a little buffoonery earlier, but now all is well here in Leesburg, Virginia. Uh, you know, I spoke to a guy, asked him what he, what he's doing out here, and he said joyriding. That is not the right answer. You do not want to be out here joyriding. Uh, v dot is asking folks to uh, stay off the roads, and, uh, and and that helps them move along quicker here. But if you can take a look at the road here, uh, obviously the buffoonery has returned, but. Uh, the roads here are going to likely refreeze overnight. We're at about, about 30 degrees now, and uh, they're going to be in the single digits tonight, so expect that to refreeze. Right, let's start off with our traffic jam, Jimmy. He's out in our Lynn Solar Mobile track, and he's been everywhere from Pennsylvania now down through Towson. Hi, Jimmy. What's the latest? Hello. Please go forward to the next speaker. Hey, Thanks. is it too early to get a fish sandwich? Oh, next speaker. Hang on. Oh, Candace, we live? Whoops. Hey, I've been in the car since four o'clock. I'm starving. I'm just getting something real quick. <laughs> hey, it's too early to get a fish sandwich. Okay, well. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, can I get a fish sandwich? Uh, we're on breakfast right breakfast? now. Breakfast? So All right, give me a uh, egg McMuffin and a black coffee. Thank you. What size would you like? Medium. All right, I'll tell you, folks. Stay put. It's bad out here. I've been out since four. Stay put, folks. Trust me. I didn't know we were coming live. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm hungry, so I'm going to get a little something to eat. I expect you to work for eight hours in the car. you got to eat, Candace. All uh, right, anyway, don't tell the boss I did this. Right, How much are you, buddy? 4.46. 4 46. All right. All right, I'll be back in a little while. All right. <laughs> Second time. I told you we were coming to you. All right. Well, anyway. By tomorrow morning, um, or we won't be like this at least. Oh, we have right. That just happened right behind us. I'm glad it didn't happen to me. Here is Jack. Go ahead. Hi, good morning. Uh, I'm Jack Strickland. I just want to make it clear, first of all, I'm calling from Bel Air, California, but I am originally from Philadelphia, specifically West Philadelphia. Uh, but anyway, I was actually discussing this issue with a friend of mine recently while I was in Philly. It occurred on the basketball court. Uh, at some point during the conversation, a couple of guys who were up to no good essentially started causing trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, and my mom got scared and said, "You're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air." 凤林的西瓜产销班合作社的青年农民，他获得了地震。好大哦！哦，好大。Democrat Donald Lally's resignation. This is the wrong video, guys. Why don't you just punch up back up here? This is gambling video. It has nothing to do with Rep. Lally. He has resigned and his resignation is effective. There we go. Now let's do this right. I didn't realize I was doing that. And right on, across uh, my face. Uh, there's there's nothing a... cheap oh, about that. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a funny show. Go on, man. Let's do it. Pause. Take it out. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't know what you're laughing at. <laughs> well, I'm not laughing at this story. No. Because the story is serious, <laughs> but man, I apologize. <laughs> it's good. Again, it is. I'm, it's, it's Thursday. I'm, it's, it's Thursday. Good morning. <clears throat> and who they're going to face off against in the NAACP tournament. The evidence showed that he purposely waited for an empty bus. Oh, oh no! no! 
How much do you think baby shitter, babysitters should be paid? Kansas City makes a quarter of a million billion dollar bitch. Oh, excuse me. Time once again to get you caught up on your news headlines. For that, the Hamburglar. We've also seen uh, several police vehicles as well. In the meantime, let's go to the video right now and tell you about. They're going to be voting on that. They're going to be voting on that next month. I'm Jeff Bush. All right, that was our Jeff Bush reporting live. A Louisiana judge set a bond hearing for Monday as Durst faces new charges based on what police found when they arrested him in the city. Walker has already made up her mind to push him out of business, and she doesn't think that he can operate fairly. Hey, good morning to all of you. Uh, this is very disturbing news here, unsettling news as we learn more about. Hey, news people, I, I am homeless. Okay, let, we're going to send it back to you and, and come back to us in just a few minutes. Okay, Annie, thanks so much. Sorry having to deal with that happens sometimes out there. It sure does. So she's saying that we need to drop the sweatpants. Uh, not, oh, really? Not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not wear sweatpants. Just be free. It's spring. <laughs> <laughs> drop the sweatpants. Yeah, it is the first day of spring. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hashtag That's, today. Drop okay. the sweatpants. Let's okay. just turn it over to David. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you okay. want to drop on us? No, I just want to say keep the sweatpants on. <laughs> All right. It does get dark. 29 degrees out there right now. Burr. In the, yeah, cool. Burr. Oh, yeah, we, we've got it. We've, the chill is letting up, but the chill is not completely gone. No. Right now. Chill it. I'm sorry. And the, and the no, chill has got no. a kink in your neck, huh? You got a... I got... Never <laughs> mind. Forget it. I just... I, I, I thought it was just the tight button, but never mind. Let's, can we just go to the weather? It's been hard all morning long, and we've kind of been playing with it. So hold this out for me. I'm going to try to karate chop this. Hiya! Here we go. Cars are off. The proper way to sled down a hill that's more muddy than snowy. They say no matter what, just have fun. Use your hand and make sure you steer. Oh boy. From the snowman. <laughs> Bob, you're out there somewhere. You are in Maryland, right? I think they're listening to Wu Tang Clan while they're driving. Okay, and they're not listening. Yeah. Well, Bob's out driving somewhere. Maybe we'll take a little break, figure out what uh, Bob is doing in his shot, and we'll uh, get back with them right after this short yeah. break. Help! Oh, this is so bad. Help! I got out of the car to uh, get the ice off the windshield wipers. The keys are sitting in the ignition right there. And uh, somehow the door locked. And I'm in Laurel by the Target store off 202. Boss, send help. And so I'm reporting through a window. But this he's for real locked out, and the car is running right now. Off duty Prince George County police officer walking into the frame now is going to try to slim Jim this door open. Here comes Patrick. Hang on. He's getting it. Wait. Oh! Wow! I didn't want you to freeze to death, also. <laughs> Found the one that makes waves at you. Yeah, you like that one? That's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite emoji, April? Uh, the poop. What? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Have you seen it? Yes. It's a little pile of poop with eyeballs. <laughs> I can't breathe. That is you said poop on TV. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> it's so funny, Alan. You have to be on with why, me on why this. Why have one. I seen it? You love it. Why, well, why we won't have talk I about we won't talk about why I send it to you, poopy man. Hey, we have a. <laughs> this Arctic air that's dropping in as it meets this warm and moist air coming in off of the Pacific and right along the cold front and the boundary front that will be created. Oh my God! Oh! Oh! Oh. We'll bring you on into the temps, and we're all doing okay. Wow, 750 degrees in Gila Bend right now, and 1,270 uh, in Ahwatukee. Now, I, I'm not authorized to <laughs> evacuate Ahwatukee, but Cade this temperature Creek. seems pretty high. Cade Creek, Fountain Hills, uh, they don't look good either. And frankly, Wickenburg is a total loss. Oh, my God.
good. You might as well just get out of anywhere along this 60 here. It's a very warm surprise. is starting to heat up as well at 1,300 degrees. So, uh, again, the safe spots seem to be Chandler and Mesa. Scottsdale is doing okay so far. But, uh, you know, you're sort of surrounded by some pretty intense heat. So I'm not your dad. But I would get out while you still can. I think steel boils at about this temperature. So Cave Creek, there's probably nothing left up there. Rala at eight. Lake Ozark coming in at nine. Griffey wants to play. And I, okay, go get it. You just can't do it. Okay, hi, bud. All right, we are seeing that zero, one. And that was what it feels like in Springfield. And as it slides off to the east, here comes Friday. <laughs> hey, you can see the winds really strong out of the southwest. Oh, gosh, you really want to play. Winds start to move in, and it gets even warmer heading into Saturday. Notice the system rolling just down to the south. Clear skies this afternoon. <laughs> okay. Take a look at future temperatures here. Future temperatures bring highs. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Okay. <laughs> he's a warrior. <laughs> Griffey's a... Griffey, ah, he's coming back. 54 for afternoon temperature on Friday. I think we get to 56. I think we are all reaching 70, at least down to the southwest. <laughs> at least down to the southwest Saturday. Good chance at 70 degrees. We actually will thaw things out. He's making me work today. This is, I thought men could multitask, right? All right, 30, 26 tonight. It'll get a little bit.